got you back tonight with new developments in a story we have been following for you here. State lawmakers today officially began the drone debate. We're talking about what should and should not be legal in Connecticut. As we told you, at least one person has gotten into trouble for flying a drone above a car crash. For more on what's happening now, our chief political correspondent Mark Davis is live in our Hartford newsroom with more. Mark? Hi, Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Yeah, drone developments are moving faster than a railroad train at full throttle. This video of the famous Essex steam train chugging along the rails by the Connecticut River was taken by a camera mounted on a drone. A small, remote-controlled flying device, not unlike remote-controlled model airplanes flown by hobbyists. Federal law will require the Federal Aviation Administration to open up airspace to these devices next year. The FAA is saying they expect there will be 30,000 of them flying around within the next 15 years. In anticipation of this, some are establishing a business around making aerial videos. Peter Hale is one of them. He watched with great interest today as state lawmakers for the first time began moving a proposal forward to regulate drones. I'm a true believer in what this technology has to offer, and I do think it can, if, if carefully applied to our daily lives, actually enhance the way you know, we exist as a society. Law enforcement is also watching the debate and is opposing the bill. This proposal requires police to get a warrant before deploying a drone, and we think that is a proper balance between public safety and privacy. If we're looking at 123 Main Street uh, through this bill, and we see uh, something that's happening uh, in the next door neighbor's yard that's illegal, according to this bill, we're not allowed to use it, which doesn't make any sense. But there is agreement that things are moving very fast and that state lawmakers must make a move soon as the use of drones, which are relatively inexpensive, is spreading fast. So we're looking at uh, statutes like stalking and voyeurism and harassment and saying if you're using a drone for these types of crimes, it's an enhanced penalty. Now this proposal would also call for a very hefty penalty for using a drone to carry a deadly weapon, another possible use for these devices. Now a local news photographer is suing a local television station that he is associated with because, uh, actually that's wrong, he's suing the local police department here in Hartford uh, because he was asked to stop using his drone over an accident scene recently. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.